incredibly hardworking entrepreneurial people from all around the world we would not be who we are if you were not here so mercy very much for coming and, being a part of this. and in this election there is only one party that has a plan to cut taxes to keep your government small and to grow jobs we are number one in job creation in the country, with 226,000 new jobs been created, lowest unemployment rate compared to the rest of Canada that we've ever had since 1976. We are paying off the debt, slowly but surely, so our kids don't inherit a province that is worse than ours. But today though, you know, we are facing some uh, difficult times. From south of the border, President Trump has, um, is undertaking the, this rising tide of protectionism that threatens us all. And he's already attacked the softwood industry, he's already attacked the aluminum industry, the agriculture industry, and what's next? Is it our tech industry? Is it the intellectual property laws and NAFTA he's going to attack? Is it our financial services industry? And this que the question in this election is which leader is best to make sure that we protect and secure British Columbia's jobs in the face of Donald Trump and the American rising tide of protectionism. And so that's why we need your help. That's why Joan and Steve and Linda need your help and need your support. It's so vital to make sure that in this election, we keep BC on track, that we continue to create jobs so that we can make the kinds of investments that we're making in Royal Columbian Hospital, in uh, Eagle Ridge Hospital, the investments that we're making in local schools in the region, in road improvements, all of that happens because we have a growing economy and we are growing jobs. We want to keep doing that for the people of British Columbia and all of your families here. So let me finish with this. There is nothing more important to me than family. And there is nothing more important in your family than your kid's future. And I know that almost all of you, if you weren't born here, came here because you wanted a better future for your children. So we need to set aside a prosperity fund that will be their savings account. We need to pay off the debt so that they don't inherit a mess when it's their time to leave. And we need or to lead and we need to make sure that we invest in education so that our kids have the best chance possible anywhere in the world. That is our responsibility as a generation. And we can only do that if we have a strong economy. I want a strong future for your kids. 
I want it for my son. I want to build for the future of British Columbia. Make sure that BC is strong and our future is bright. Thank you so much for coming. Salam. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Well, he led me wrong, is what he told me. <laughs> now, listen, I'm going to let you guys settle this yourself. <laughs> yes. Well, I'm glad to know that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'll use both. When I'm with you, I'll say salah. And when I'm with you, I'll say direct. <laughs> I am now going to go make you all lunch. <laughs> you don't want that. You do not want that. You want him making you lunch. Good office? Good office. Good office. Now you are not going to learn the whole Persian the whole language, language. <laughs> in five minutes. Yeah. Well, it's one of the. Most, I mean, you are the most ancient culture in the world, and one of the, one of the world's most ancient languages and ancient faiths anywhere. Um, so I, it, there might be a lot in common with English in that. It as is we're definitely. a descendant, right? Yes, it is. We have so much in uh, uh, from English and uh, English and uh, French and uh, actually some uh, word of Spanish, yeah. Turkish. So it's, it's truly, amazing. It's truly an international <laughs> it is. Um, representation. We love it. Oh yeah. Yeah. Thank you. It's a pleasure to meet you. Well, I certainly hope that our Farsi-speaking in Iranian community will grow because, I mean, it's a, it's a tragedy what Donald Trump is doing in the United States, but who knows, it may mean that we get the benefit of more immigrants from Iran and, and of people of Persian descent who might not otherwise go to the United States, because we're so lucky to have you. Um, a question, do you think these 15% of the race for foreigner doesn't head our economy? I think, well, you know, what we wanted to do was slow the growth in house, the house cost of housing so our kids could have a better chance of buying a home. And it hasn't slowed our economy. We're still the fastest growing economy in the province, in the country. Will so we'll Vietnam move or remain? Well, you know, for anybody who has a work, what we've changed is anybody who has a work permit to be in British Columbia, especially if you've come in through the PNP program, will be exempt from the 15%, even if you're not a Canadian citizen or a landed immigrant. Right. So we're monitoring it very closely. But you know, my most, the most important thing is to make sure that your kids, maybe some of you, can afford a house. Yeah, I appreciate that. Another question is that one. <laughs> sorry. Uh, is um, what I want to try to ask you. Um, sorry, my. It's OK. There's no <laughs> rush. No rush at all. Uh, a qu uh, question. I had it. I'm so tired today, and that's why in my. Do you want to wait a minute and yes, get a chance sure, in a sure, minute? Sure. Okay, I'll let you collect, the, Thanks. collect your thoughts a little bit. It's about a small business. My brain has come back. Okay, what is about yeah. small businesses? Sorry. Because our hope all is coming for for a liberal to do something for a small business. A lot yes. of small businesses yes. really suffering in British Columbia. I am one of those one. <laughs> The owner of the business, family business running. Yeah. We, we excited what you guys doing for us. Well, I, you know, thank you, because small business is the backbone of our economy. We have more small businesses mm -hmm. in British Columbia than any other province in the country, and that is partly because we have such a vibrant immigrant entrepreneurial community. And so, we're cutting the small business rate. We are changing the way WorkSafe works, so you'll get some of that money back from WorkSafe as an employer. Mm -hmm. We are cutting the tax on electricity, so that should save small business about $50 million. And most importantly though, creating jobs wherever it is in the, in the province, whether they're a big projects or medium-sized projects, means that more people have money to spend at your small business. And that's, you know, that's, that's why small business is growing here um, just about faster than anywhere else in the country. Because you know, there's lots of new money coming in from around the world, and that helps you guys grow. Thank and we you. want you to grow. Thank you. So, Thank you. That's Thank wonderful. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Did you want to say something quickly? Question? Yes. Yes. Job? yes. Job because lots of Iranians, they have lots of skills coming here yes. to get a job or oh, make yep. a good future for themselves. But because it takes a long time yeah. to get these facilities or, for example, it was I heard about the bad nurse. Yeah. She was here and she tried to go to the hospital, but it took five years.
to do that. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. gave up and she went back to Iran. Yeah, yeah because uh, so that's a problem. You know, so I, can I tell you a story too that if something happened to me today? So this is a problem with credentialing. You all know that. I mean, so many Iranian immigrants come with lots of education, mm -hmm. engineers and doctors and teachers and nurses and scientists, and they can't find jobs here because they can't get credentialed. So I met a guy today. He is running a restaurant in the food court in the Putin Center. He makes the most delicious lamb shank you've ever had in your entire life. He has a PhD in environmental engineering. Yeah, and you know, we've got it, my view, here's what I think. Iran has paid to educate some of the smartest people in the world. We should put them to work as fast as we can when they come here. So, I, I mean, this has been a problem for a long time. What I am going to do, uh, if should you elect me, is we are going to take all of the credentialing that's, some of it's in the Ministry of Health, some of it's in the Ministry of Education, and we are gonna put it in one ministry with one minister, and her or his job is going to be making sure that you can get credentialed way faster in British Columbia yes. when you come. Yes. Do you want me to take that? Okay, you can ask me one more question. The last one is uh, because you know that the Iranian needs you and NDP and Greens all the time very involved with Iranian community. Yeah. But why you are right now with us? Yeah. We well, need you. Well, I was at Nauru's too, which was really wonderful, yeah. right? Yeah. Just yeah. to yeah. 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 I saw you. I yeah. talked to you. Yes, you're right. But recently we met you. Yeah, you know what I would say to the Iranian community is it's um, the most important thing for Iranians is be having more money in your pocket. Mm. It's having lower taxes. So for example, the NDP plan for $10 a day childcare. Mm. They did that in Quebec. Four year wait lists, fewer spaces available, and it will be $1.5 million in new taxes for people. So to, I think that that matters to the Iranian community yeah. here. And so what I've been trying to do is make sure that we're supporting small business and entrepreneurial people, and make sure and now make sure that we are credentialing people faster, welcoming more newcomers. If the Trump administration doesn't want them, want immigrants, we do. We want you to come and bring your skills. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. God bless. Uh, I'll go Okay. We okay. had a meeting with the Minister Watt regarding yes. the priorities and needs of the Iranian Good. community Good. in January. Good. So we would like to have a problem from the government that this uh, communication channel yes. will be open will. and the people should participate and to get. Uh, we so. would be delighted. And you know, we've been, we supported success in starting their Farsi settlement, their Farsi language yeah. settlement program, as you know. So we're really proud of that. And we, but that. we would like to be more involved in community events and other this things. This is how it's the wonderful. Wonderful. Uh, this is based on the syllabus of the Ministry of Education for the awesome. this is, this is, this is, Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Pastor. And I, as her representative, have attended all the Farsi events. So you have lots of support. Wonderful to see you. All the best. Always good.